There's this famous quote, um, which is, um, I think it's from Lenin, and you don't often hear Lenin on Times Radio, but here it is, that there are decades when nothing happens and there are weeks when decades happen. And the weird thing about 2022 is there were lots of those weeks where loads of things happened. It's almost impossible to pick out the big moment of the year. You know, this was a year where we had three prime ministers, we had four chancellors, a government fell twice, once because of parties, once because of utter economic ineptitude. We lost the Queen, who'd been on the throne for decades herself. We had the first land war in Europe for more than seven decades. So all taken together, I actually can't think of a year where I've been alive, where there was more news, there were more things of significance happening. And maybe the thing to focus on is the war in Ukraine, huge moment in, in geopolitics. The bit about that that I think of, we spoke to a 16-year-old girl called Sonia. And some people will remember this if they, if they heard it on the radio. 16-year-old girl called Sonia who was um, stuck in a suburb of Kyiv, couldn't get out with her family, and then at some point had to make a decision to leave her pets to death, really, and walk across this road that was being shelled by the Russians. She was a 16-year-old girl in a, in a major European country who three months before was worrying about school and whatever and was now walking across this, this road, this bridge, really, shelled by Russians and trying to start a new life. And we spoke to her and she was absolutely bereft about her dog. And then over the course of the next few months, we spoke to her. She traced her journey as so many others did across Europe. She got into Poland. She comes across Europe via France and she ends up in a school in England. And we were able to speak to her every, every step of the way. So, and I wonder whether when you try and deal with big events all the time, sometimes it's the, it's the smaller things as part of those big events that linger in your mind. But I remember this girl on the line from Ukraine in tears because she had to leave her dog because out of nowhere, out of sort of clear blue sky, the bombs had started falling. Uh, and that really was the year, wasn't it? A year where you might even forget that in February a war started, but it did, and the aftershocks of that we're still feeling. I'm talking to you in a freezing coal house in a hoodie, mainly because I'm scruffy like that, but also because we're still experiencing the effects of Ukraine, and we're the lucky ones. The Ukrainians are still facing far more than that. So. 2022 will be, I think, I'm 42, the year where the most news happened. And doing a show on Times Radio meant that I was kind of, for parts of it, had front row seats on extraordinary events. You know, can you talk in the same breath about the war in Ukraine and Partygate? Remember Partygate as well? Boris Johnson being kicked out of office. We were there on air the moment... He turned it in. He wasn't going. He wanted to stay. He was digging himself in. Would he go? Everyone started resigning. Sajid Javid and Rishi Sunak resigned together, but not quite together. All the dominoes fell and Boris Johnson was out. Then there was that summer of Sunak versus Truss. Truss comes in, screws everything up and goes out again. It was a hell of a year, really, 2022, uh, however you choose to measure it. So how positive can we be about 2023? I don't know if you've noticed, but really every year for the last three or four years, everyone has said, I can't wait for this year to be over. It's been awful. COVID, two years of that, cancelling Christmas. This year, energy crisis, cost of living crisis, looming recession, war in Europe. I bet 2023 will be better. I don't know if we have to look back on recent history. Has every, has every year got better or worse in the last three or four? So I'm going to say, though, history can change. Things do alter. There will be progress. The war will come to an end. There are things to cling to. But do I really believe that? I'm too much of a curmudgeon, perhaps, even to, to, to believe that. Uh, it's going to be another year. I think we can confidently say... That 2023, though, will be another year, maybe, where decades happen in at least one or two weeks. And maybe that'll be good, maybe that'll be bad, but it should probably be quite exciting. <laughs>